Hello everybody, welcome to week 3 of the Super League. We've got Group A match between Hiru and his Dwarves and Crystal Hunter and his Imperial Nobility. Imperial Nobility is of course Dimmy G's favourite and literally nobody else's on Earth. Um, but Jump has taken them, he's got 5 guard, he's got Blood Shoe Hands and Bodge Tackle. Like it's not terrible, right? It's not terrible because they get the extra skills. And uh, meanwhile, here he's got Dwarves with only 5 guard and a mighty blow. So, you know, they've got equal guard and the nobility have got more strength. And obviously they've got more speed as well and more agility. So, it's a bit... This this format is a bit of a problem for Dwarves. Because they're basically... They're not even really outguarding anybody. And... Uh, like, so the other Bash teams, right? Like, Orcs out take 7 guard. And I mean, against seven guard, this is horrendous, isn't it? And uh, both myself and Andy both took four guard. And uh, and Diamond, right? Diamond only took one wolf. But myself and Andy had four guard and two claws. And yeah, Diamond's got four guard and one claw. So, like, there's so many... Um... Oh, wow. And there's so, there's so many bad matchups for you. Like, you know, against Lizards, they've got a bunch of blocks. So you, your guard struggles as well. Like, it's not, it's not really enough to fight Lizards. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of, of Dwarves in Euro Bowl rule set. But this is a great start for Chunter, isn't it? Incredible start. Just goes from bad to worse for Hiru. This is going to be a really tough... Like, I'd, still, I'd still probably back Dwarves against Knobs. But... Um, yeah, this is... Wow, opens with a GFR. Outrageous. Outrageous behaviour from Chunter. I have learned to never, ever, ever, ever roll a dodge or a GFI on a blitz. But he's doing it so that he can chain him out. Well, don't really think it's worth it. <laughs> Nob so, Pete. Hey, hello, Dimmy. You had to keep insulting him, didn't you? I did, yeah. Monster. I thought that was, I thought that was more likely to get you to come in to defend them than, than like you think. Oh, Jim's lovely. He's speaking nicely about knobs. <laughs> did it work? Or would you yes. have joined anyway? It did work. Good. I, I well, I mean, it's knobs, Jim. <laughs> well, I mean, the the blitz has been amazing, hasn't it? That is an incredible Five blitz. Players, well, yeah. yeah, incredible blitz for Chunter. If he gets a good scatter here, it's almost all over before it's begun. So, I mean, it's there's only really... Oh, okay, that's, that's, the, that's the best scatter we could have hoped for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally the best scatter. Cheers, man. Yeah. Oh. oh. Instant removal. To be fair, that was a that was a double six on the armor, so that would have removed anybody except a dwarf. But fix go. Hmm. Or well, technically, I guess the ogre. <laughs> <clears throat> just a KO, though, right? So. Yeah, yeah, just a KO. Not the end of the world. No. Does need to power I mean, this wrestler though, doesn't he? Here, Hiru. Uh, yeah, yeah, he does, yeah. Or both down, I mean, like, the rest was fine. Ish. Yeah. Oh, he's blitzing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you can blitz and then block afterwards. I think it's right to blitz first, then block after. Because if you were to block first, you'd have to just put him in anyway, right? And then... And it's just like so many more players was he if you blitz him then he can <laughs> block him into a two into two into one isn't terrible is it so you can still block with him at, at the end oh Not i thought he'd come i thought he'd come down below the troll slayer with that guy it's, it's where is he going to go the ball though, isn't it i think his plan is to put the I ball thought... here ah uh, yeah yeah one two three four five Six. Oh, it's a rush to there. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, thank you, pardon. Errata, errata. <laughs> but yeah, he's probably gonna get a one day on this chunt. I'm sure he'll go for it. It's 
it's gonna be true. That's the, I mean, like, if the dwarf stabilizes, this is brutal for the elves. Ooh. Ooh. So he's, he is gonna, he's gonna GFI to here then? Yeah. That's pretty decent, isn't it? Because then it's, it's shielded from that side and he's got guard on this side. Yeah, 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 because otherwise there was a chain push to get the guard on the floor in there. Well, there was until we powered that guy. Yeah, cheeky pal. Lovely bit of frenzy. I think I would have maybe not stood for him. I guess he wants to do something with that dodgy man. I mean, you can still get one. Oh, no, not really. Well, yeah, you... mm, yeah, no, not really. <laughs> He has, to, he has to feel the square, like, he has to feel, the, to get the chain, to t chain that dwarf out of the way, he has to feel the, yeah, so. Yeah, he could put a player in here, power him, yeah, push yeah. him to there, and then... But he can't get the guard in there. Then it? the guard could come round the back, but it, yeah, that would be a 4 plus dodge, so. Il poids. Diced. Comedy mega. Mm. Yeah, Problem so is as well is two of his bodyguards are like not in a great position now. Yeah, but then to be fair, they're like they're trading off for Hero's dwarf, uh, guard dwarves, right? So it's not it's not too bad. It's oh, not he's doing it. too bad. It's Chunter and he'll just go for the uphill wrestle. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Cheers. Chunter not going for an uphill. Well, I didn't get the power, so that's that's that one. Finished. Yeah, uh, he might just blitz the guard now. Yeah, I think so. Like, Chunter and Hiru and in, in Ari, and they're not completely bonkers, are they? Like, you know, they'll they'll try these kind of things if they can, but they're not they're not completely nuts. <laughs> they still play, you know, fundamentally good blood ball, don't they? They just they just go for a bit more crazy. Yeah, I mean, like, Chunter and Rats and Chunter and Knobs, I think, is a different thing altogether. Mm. Oh, he just wants to put Stan Firm on the ball. Yeah, it's not terrible at all, is it? It's not. But then there is this Mighty Blower. Maybe he's going to tag the Mighty Blow Slayer, because obviously the Slayer makes it pretty easy to get That's to nice. get it off. You know, it's like, yeah, you have to push him off, because you don't want the guard on your Blitzer. I guess he's not going to blitz the blitz though, because he's got to deal with this stand firmer. Hmm. I mean, it's it, at the moment it's too easy just to just to blitz him with frenzy, right? So you'd imagine he's going to come in and tag the frenzy. I'm a little bit concerned because there's a lot of knobs in contact with dwarves at the moment. Yep. Oh, oh lineman doesn't get cast. Amazing, I know Jim. Yeah. Who would have thought it? Yeah. I mean, this is pretty tough for a hero. It's not the best, is it? I mean, if he gets the power, it's all right. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, Chanter could be down to, like, six players at the end of this turn. But if he, like, if he doesn't roll decently, he can be in a lot of trouble next turn. Yep. And the guards are in pretty good spots. Might even see a runner dodge here. He might just punch with the runner, but no, he can't. He, he, can't, he, can't, firm. he absolutely yeah. can't punch with the runner, no. I think blitzes with this guy, yeah, he blitzes with this guy and see what happens. Gets the power. Diced. And a Kaz. Has he got an FO? He yeah. does, and it comes in. And it's it bad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's an auto oh. apple, right? If you've got an apple there, it's an auto apple. Yeah, but he's, he's going to have like another six players hit you at this turn. Yeah. Just, uh, I, I've, I've got the fear in me already. <laughs> Interesting, the hero's gone forward here because th that makes Is this it? hit dangerous and it's knocked over. I, I think I would have gone back, right, and done this. Done this uh, hit into like this hit, and try to knock people free and stuff. What chain the troll slayer out? Yeah, chaining the slayer out. Yeah, yeah. I'd have gone two into two, try to chain, and you know, hopefully chain the slayer out, and then and then like try and protect got... the ball. Is that a blitz of three? Oh, the blitz is free. Yeah, yeah. You could do like a 
three point screen in the left side, right? Mm, like I'm really trying to protect the ball here. This is the this is the main problem you've got, right? So I would have definitely brought this guy back to make hits in. I guess this is nearly okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't see how he's protecting it. He's just going to base. He's just going to base the tackle blitzer with that blitzer, and he. Yeah, I mean, he can he can make like a three-point cage again, can't he? So he can only get uphill. <sighs> but he hasn't got block, so yeah. So it looks like you know if he'd had another player down here, he'd have been all right, wouldn't he? He's gone all the way over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, he gets one deed then. Yeah, he just runs around the back and one deeds yeah, him. Yeah. He's <laughs> he's messed this up. Yeah. Oh he's, my he's god. He's GFIing. Did he realise that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, he, that was a a blunder. Yeah. But at least he did the right thing and did the GFI that he had to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unforced error. Yep. They just they, because Astro Tour Games Workshop just decided that Imperial Nobility should suck. That is the uh, that is the answer. They won't I mean, you. It, it's not it, it's not a balanced game, is it? It's purposefully unbalanced. So, oh yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah, yeah. they they deliberately made Imperial Nobility better than every other race. <laughs> <laughs> not true, unfortunately, Dimmy. <laughs> not true. Oh, this is painful for Crystal. This is uh Yep. Good recovery again. Like Hiru's just constantly been under the cosh every game. <laughs> every game he's just he's been like you know, obviously he was diced by uh yeah, you gotta get the chain on the ball here. What is this is gonna be One D. Oh, cause the guard is mm? Yeah, there's no guard. Oh god. But then oh, like, 2D at this guard there, or is it just a 2D? Gets the reroll in. Needs an armor break. Doesn't get it. Now the rest of his team dies. Yeah. Oh. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the, the break there would have been so good. Man, heroes have like <laughs> really been. In the thick of it in this BBSL season. <laughs> yeah, it's brutal. It's brutal. He He's got like, diced yeah, to death like, by me. He didn't Andy. have a good time against Andy. And then instant blitz against Chunter. <laughs> of all the pit coaches you don't want to get blitzed on by as well, it's Chunter, right? He's just gonna, you know he's just going to go hell for leather for the ball. So, yeah, this is... Uh... Well, the, the other thing about Nobility is, as terrible as you think they are, they're very hard to get, like forward against because of all the stand firm and stuff so like when you're starting in your own half like it's even harder oh yes yeah. the power lovely that in it yeah push power gives him the 2d as well without having to stand up that guy gets the knockdown nice the armor holds yeah. he got himself into that trouble but i think by this guy going up instead of down i think if he'd gone down it would be he still got the air uh, Mighty block. I thought, I thought we'd do the troll style first to finish him. No, oh, no, I'd, I'd want to hit the tackle first. Like, I know he's got mighty blow, but I would have still. Oh, him. that's huge. Massive. Mega. Because he hasn't used the blitz yet, right? So I could have, I would have maybe tried to blitz, say, the uh, the the ogre, actually, right, with a, the mighty blow. He could have put guard in there and then blitzed him on a one day or a two with with Dauntless, or he could have. What's it? Is it? Is he? He's down three players now, and he's at 11 against the eight, is it? Oh, God. 11 versus seven, actually. <laughs> Jeez Louise. What the hell? <laughs> so, yeah, great pressure from Chunter, but Apple gone, four players down, and uh, three players knocked over. Do you, do you know what? <clears throat> uh, Spleggy, I, I did something incredibly dumb and I bought the 2016 box set 
I didn't buy the 2020 rule set. I bought the 2020 rule book. Then I bought the 20, <laughs> uh, built the Imperial Ability team. And then I bought Blackhawk team. <laughs> and I spent like 100 odds quid on that. Because it's like 30 quid each. I spent 100 quid on it. And you can get the box set for 100 quid. And you get all the dice. You get a pitch. And you get all the dugouts. So I, I, I should have just waited and bought the box set. <laughs> I would have gone here, wouldn't you? Because if, if he pals this guy, he's got to stand firm on the ball again. I know he'd have, like, the frenzy to hit it and everything, but I don't know, I'd just rather call one over and, like, not let yeah. him miss me with the stand firm. I think... Yeah, I mean... I think he's fine now. I think... Crystal just needs to... <laughs> he should be fine. Chump has lost two-thirds of his players. Yeah... <laughs> Sorry, two thirds, one third of his player. He's down to two thirds of his players. Um, I mean, luckily, well, one was an Apo badly hurt, and then a couple of these are KOs, so he, he, yeah, it's not times, like yeah. game ending, it's drive ending, but. Yeah. It's a bit unfortunate. Yeah. That scatter on the, the blitz, like with the ball bouncing off, it literally bounced into like the. Be very best possible square for Hero as well. It did, yeah. But, like, it had been a great blitz for Chunter until then. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, for sure. Kind of balances out a bit. Um, At the end of the day, like, yeah, it's your drive and you're in the crap already, like. Yeah. You're looking forward to all your hits and, <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're just Absolutely surrounded by sweet. stand firm and guards, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, how good is a Mighty Blood Troll Slayer? I'm not a fan, um, but obviously to what Hiru took, and he, he took it in the uh, Season 2 Finals, and he took it in the first season of uh, BBSL, and he took it the second season of BBSL, so obviously he really likes the Mighty Blood Slayer. Lost Wolves. Mm. I don't mind having like you know one Slayer. I think two slays a bit much, and I don't like giving him skills. But maybe, maybe he does it because he thinks it's better in the orc matchup having the dauntless. I don't know, like, like the strength match because there's a lot of strength teams on Bob 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 Three. Yeah, I mean, obviously like he thinks it's good, right? Like otherwise he wouldn't take it. But um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fan, but that doesn't mean that I'm right. Mind you, like if you were anticipating lots of orcs, you wouldn't take troll slayers. You just wouldn't take gores. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you just wouldn't take gores. That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. You would not take gores if you're anticipating orcs. Oh god. <laughs> Cheeky stuff. I was quite relieved. Yeah, I was quite relieved to see that stun. I, I don't want the game to like be over. You know, I want it to have some life to it. Hmm. Although this drive is looking very miserable for Crystal. Yeah, he's still got the blitz, hasn't he? So he gets to get the guard in and mighty blow blitz and yeah, tidy this up a bit. Nobs did, did, did you see who won the toss? Uh Chunter won the toss and chose to Oh Wow. Ooh, this is pretty risky. I would have risky? Uh, I would have GFI'd with him at the end to like, you know, to bracket these two, that would have been my play. It could have been one, two, three, four, five, right? And then got because he could have gone there and then GFI back, and then that's what I would have done over here. This kind of now means he has to blitz um, somehow. I guess with a Slayer. It's Defender. Fend. That doesn't matter, he's just powered him, he's killed him. Yeah, probably. Powered him with mighty blow. Big decision. He's probably AFK, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he's probably just gone. <laughs> Yeah, they are getting banged on. Seriously yeah. banged on. Okay, this okay. is I, I like. I don't mind the matchup. Um, generally speaking, but it's very dependent on removal. Sorry, it's yeah. 
and he's had loads of hits. As <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the problem with the blitz, wasn't it? The problem with the blitz was he went full contact straight away, and then like I say, there was that one turn where if he made one bad dice roll, like he's in a lot of trouble. But then he didn't. He just powered everything and removed everything, and then. <laughs> All of a sudden, it was just drive over, right? So, yeah. like I say, the good news is they're all KO, so like he could be like full strength for the second half. Yeah, yeah, I think he, full strength. Yeah. But he he really needs to just not lose anybody else. Let him score, so he gets the two KO rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh Try God, and force yeah. him in. Yeah, force him in on turn eight. Don't let him stall. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, a good thing. At least, at least this was a kick for Chunter. Because if if this had been a Chunter receive, it would oh yeah, yeah. probably game over. One way, one nil down on his own drive, and all these KOs, and for only one roll. But at least, you know, he's still in. He's still in for a draw here. Like the the game is not over. Don't say it's over. Oh look at that, the chain. Do you should have play, guys? Oh my god, this is only a 3 plus. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. Pow. I mean, <laughs> if he makes it <laughs> and then stops the score. <laughs> I didn't like that block, right? Because if it's a push, it makes this a 4 plus 3 plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things. I think he just wants anything to try and remove a player. Last re roll gone. Yes. Gets the board down. Oh, Kills himself. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he is running out of time now. Which is bad for Chunter. Right? Uh, yeah, no, he's gonna surf. He's gonna surf. Yeah, he's gonna surf this dude. Both. He's got blitz. He's got blitz there. One, both. Two. He could surf. He could surf both. Um. So he could. It's hard, actually. Oh, he powers him first time. No, it's not. He just needs to play here, doesn't he? But oh, he blocked with the wrong character. Oh, he blocked with the wrong character. This guy should have blocked no, him. Powered him anyway. Yeah, but he should have blocked him, and then he could have come here, right? And then he could have surfed. He could have surfed the uh, the bodyguard as well. That was definitely the play. This is, this would be a terrible one in nine for both players on this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, who wants him to succeed it more, whether it's Crystal or Bloody Hero. He's got like double GFI here, right, Hero, to get to get like free of the of the wrestler. Like, this is the the best part about surfing was it only took one extra player, and it like freed up the players to to move forward safely. Oh, thank God he's made it. <laughs> so it's not. He, oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's got three turns. He's got three more turns. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't. It wasn't. Think... As, it wasn't as crazy as I thought. I think we just skip turns if we crystal. Yeah, just lie down now. Five players left. Yeah. He won't lie down. No. What would right. Elliot do? To be fair, this is a four three four three two two to one D. Like, this was too easy. Okay, it's just one D. I like I like doing the four three for the one day on the ball, but I guess without any rerolls, it's super unlikely. I guess he thought it was too unlikely to work. Well, he's got him screened, didn't he? Which is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Oh no! No! Oh! Oh god! Oh! Uh, he gets four dice on him, doesn't he, with the Slayer? So. Oh, as soon as I saw him standing up, I was like, no, what are you doing? <laughs> he could even uh, hit this bodyguard first and then move into a system maker a six dice to clear him. Oh my god. I, on I honestly, that last turn, I would have just played on the floor, I think. Oh yeah, I definitely would have done. Both down now, just to just to free players. Yeah. Where are all the knobs? <laughs> uh, it's a bit hot. It's, uh, it's a bit hot. They're just taking a rest. It's been brutal. Like honestly, like um, Hiru's 
like really high rolled removals, but there's been a lot of punches as well at the same time. Yeah. Oh, nothing yet. <laughs> but oh, yeah, like he's hit from the wrong angle as well. Oh my goodness. Triple powers. That was. Oh, really and then he lovely, stands firm and he's blocked him in. Yeah. Well, yeah if he'd that. wrestled, if he'd done wrestling right, he should have hit from up here. So that if he got wrestled, yeah, yeah. he would have been all right. Oh, he can say so. Yeah, he had movement left, but if he if he was if he was wrestled, it would have, it would have got a little bit tricky. <laughs> You would have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. It would have been a G if I had to score. Really disappointing half a channel. Yep. So promising. Yeah, it was yeah, it was. It was really promising, but ultimately it led to a, it led to a bad scatter and a million hits. But I mean that's that's the way Chunter plays anyway, isn't it, in general? But yeah, the the, the blitz like kind of yeah, but I mean, like on the flip side of it, if it bounces the other way, it's Chunter's drive, right? It's not a hero's drive anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, and it then was it's a, it's pretty much a fifty-fifty for it to be. Yeah, absolutely horrendous for Hero. And then the way it the way it sort of ended was because the way the ball bounced and the way Hero got it, like instead of Chunter rescuing the guys that went forward for the blitz, he separated his own team and then. Yeah, they all, they all kind of got destroyed. Yep, he can foul as well. He's got he's got twelve players here, so he can get a cheeky foul on. Ogre, no, yeah, I guess that like Ogre's it. got big skull, though, isn't he? Yeah, I think it'd probably be better. Well, maybe bodyguard, bodyguard. Body I'd have called <coughs> bodyguard. He's fouling the Ogre though, because he's got the extra player on the Ogre. Oh. Then off. <laughs> Passive removal. No yeah. argue the call. Yeah. Ogre gets his first removal. <laughs> Probably of the entire Super League. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Too noble to play the dwarves. <laughs> yeah, Blitz is a bit of a double edged sword sometimes. I see a lot of games that are won and lost on a Blitz. Mm. Like both ways. Like the guy who got the Blitz just threw the game because they overcommitted. I mean, that was like rough. It was like that. Came right down to the ball scout, right? Yeah, and you know, Chunta still got hits on the ball, didn't he, at various points? Yeah. So, something could have happened for him, but didn't. And now, I mean, Chunta's still just got it, uh, sorry, Hiru has still, like, only got his uh, drive done, right? It's still, um, still a chance for Chunta and here. He is down, he is down the. Sure hands blood. Track. Yeah, that's the big one, the bloody blitzer. But he could get these two back and he could have eleven players for the second half, so it can, it's still Oh it's turn eight, yeah, of course it yeah, is. Yeah. It's, it's still not the end of the world for Chunter. It's very close. Um, it's yeah, like yeah, it's a, it's rough, it's rough. It is rough, yeah. But you know that's because he made a crucial he made a crucial mistake. When he was selecting his team, right, he uh, he, he made the mistake of choosing Imperial Nobility. That's up, Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, he's got he's got a guard on the LOS here, and like uh, he's he's not got a bench after this, has he? So he's gonna get the the knobs are gonna get three removals here, and then it's game on. He'll go for the win. Push for the win. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, uh, three. Yeah, he's lost two games, so. After losing two games, you almost have to like win three, right? Like two, one, two probably isn't going to be good enough. So he almost has to win three games from here. Uh, both of them, right? Both Chunter and Hiru probably have to win all the games out to qualify. So. He just did a one day. Yeah. So yeah, that might make it a loss for Chunter. Did a one day power. Jesus. Yeah, this Double. might this might make it a loss because he, yeah, he's going to have to try, but he's going to have to score early and try to win, I think. It depends. Depends which way he looks at it, right? He might just give up qualifying from the group and just try and get the best result possible. That's also that's fine, isn't it? I don't know what the best way of playing it is, to be honest. Just, I guess it's just up to the individual, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, he's been incredibly unlucky. Like honestly, the two games he's played against Andy. With the one in nine dodge. No, oh, yeah, I mean Chunt and died to death against Andy for sure. Got like all of his, but he started the second term, the second half with six players, didn't he? 
Yeah, and then <coughs> and then he still nearly like <coughs> I say draw because you'd think that Andy would have yeah scored back to make it two two. Yeah, he nearly got. I know. I mean, he rolled a, a horrendous se <laughs> sequence of dice to even get to that point. Like, let's be real. Yeah. <coughs> I hate the nobility thrower. I don't even like. Honestly, my Euro Bowl build doesn't even have a single thrower in it. <coughs> this is Rick's. This is all Rick's fault, I, I think, because Kfo took Rick's build. I don't know where Chanter got it from. Chunter I just take. Made it up. <coughs> yeah, I take thirteen players, and I don't take any thrower. And then I, I get three rerolls in mine because I got the extra guard. I don't want guard oh. on a uh, on a line, <coughs> right? I Ooh, mean the power is... out. Oh no, it's the it's, it's, this is the, second it's half. the yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the second half. I was like, whoa, no. I mean, it'd be lovely if it was a timeout and they set up like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't really looking at the pitch to be honest. Right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right, ten don't players. Don't do a one day this time. Yeah, okay. ten players for Chunter. So the question is, does he just try and get the best result he can, which is a draw, or does he try and like go crazy to get the win? <laughs> Is the question? I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough one, though. I feel like if you go for the win, you just lose, right? So, but if you go for the draw, you're <coughs> super unlikely to qualify from the group. So it's a tough, it's a tough thing, and you know, like some people just don't like. I, I hate losing, for example. But also, I think Chanter will hate losing. Yeah, I, I, I hate losing. I don't know. Losing, I don't but, know. Like. But also, like, I would still want to try to qualify from the group, like, as low odds as it was. So it, it's funny, isn't it? It's, it's funny, I'm not sure. Man, his dice have been terrible. Yeah, they haven't been good. They haven't been good. It's... <laughs> that's true. Yeah, exactly. So, like, yeah, getting getting a leader is pretty good, isn't it, for knobs? But, to be fair, there's, there isn't a leader on uh, Chunter's team. So. Well, if you don't if you don't take the throwers, you can afford a lead. Because <laughs> the throwers are just float. Like they just just buy the reroll, man. I mean, the the only thing is if it's a short drive and you, you got pass, and you know, that's the only good thing. But and they don't have short hands. AV. They've got plus AV and they've got pass, and they they they're basically free because you get leader to represent. No, replace but if you if you've got if you've got leader on it, Jim, there's no point in having plus AV because you're going to be protecting them so they're not getting hit anyway. So the AV plus is irrelevant on a leader thrower. Well, I don't think it is. And plus edge, yep, yeah. and plus edge. I quite like the throwers. I mean, what well, I don't, I think they're absolute garbage. But the point is, I hate the linemen so much that I would take it. Justice for knob throwers. They don't. They don't offend. I know. Fend, to... Fend's irrelevant. It, mate, Fend is one of them things. When you put it with the stand firm, he just triple uphill, knocked over, Chunter's ogre. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Zero fucks given. Hello, Chugs. What a, what a moment. That was a proper Mr. Tato moment, wasn't it? Triple uphill, pals. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, leave the pitch. Ah, it's done. Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> the running pass is, is essentially completely irrelevant. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the only time I can think of it ever being a thing. He's on a one turn with a really short kick where you can throw the pass and then run in to fill a square that you but like the odds of it even being a thing <laughs> are like nothing because you're putting your thrower so deep anyway. So. Yeah. yeah, most of the time you you know, if if you if you're doing a pass you'd rather just fucking hand off than move afterwards, wouldn't you? That's the thing. Yeah. So yeah, that's what you want to hand off. Or if you want to like throw a pass and then run behind a player to go on the sidelines so someone can serve them or something like that. Yeah. That's like it's so niche, like it's it will come up once in like seven thousand games or something. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's really niche. Good turn for for Chunter there getting the two stuns, but um not that good, is it? Like he's still Imperial nobility. <laughs> Still imperial nobility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he's holding the centre, pretty strong, despite this the stuns. Didn't, 
randomly changed to another race <laughs> that can play Popo, yeah. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he might have, uh, he might have left the hand off and potato. Nah. I mean, the handoff potato is definitely the right play. It's just when you do it, right? Because yeah. you're pretty much always going to have to hand off potato oh, with knobs because they're so rubbish. Oh, it doesn't work this time. No. And the handoff potato is actually on now. Yeah. Up that left side. Well on, yeah. Yeah. Running this past. Guy oh, deep. please. Block this guy in 2 Please. Deep. Block him. Block up here. There's loads of blocks to be made. Wait, he needs to do running pass as well. He needs to actually <laughs> run, pass it to the blitzer, and then tag the dwarven blitzer up the top. <laughs> Please do it, just after how irrelevant we were saying it was. Like, it'll make my day. <laughs> Come on, running past Chanter, you can do it. Nah, I don't think he's going to hand it off. One, oh, two, no, he's, he's, he's <laughs> got the square. He's, he's going to go here, isn't he? He's going to go here, and then um, have this guy up. Nice. Nice sir, nice sir. Well he might still throw it to him. He might he might move the blitzer up and then Nah. Uh, he, ain't, he ain't throwing it. Sorry. Or even like hand it off to him, I'm just saying like get him in range. <laughs> hand off to him and then like let's go, let's go for the win. <laughs> Yeah, Chugs, they've, they've got a little bit better, and also um, I found the settings that made it look a bit more watchable. If you compare if you compare my stream to other people's streams, I think mine always looks better than theirs in terms of like the pitch like being a bit lighter and stuff. Um, so, so there is that, like, the settings help. Oh my god, was that a fixed goal again? Yeah. I don't know oh. I just said yeah. It was, it was, he rolled it at 8. Yeah, thick skull, 8, yeah. God, I hate dwarves. It's still too stunned again though, that keeps the dwarves on the back foot. Yeah, he's got no scoring for it though, is he? I guess he could... He could... He could... No. I mean, he could chain the blitz into range, right? It would be a bit spicy. Oh, the pushes. <laughs> He's just got to survive one more. Hold. <laughs> Hold. Uh, <laughs> Hold. <laughs> Is there... Oh, no, he needs to feel the square above. Oh, dice. He doesn't need him in range anyway, right? He can just, he can just screen him. Just screen the ball. I mean, he's in range, isn't he? He's in range already, so... We just we hit with the ogre. We blitz the guy in front of him, and then we double geofire, Score. Oh yeah, yeah, he's in range. I mean, I wouldn't. I would. I would try and screen him, but decent Mate, recovery score. by Hero. Three turns left. Yeah, maybe he is going to score. And he's, he's got three dice here as well with the ogre. Yeah, three dice him. Block the only him, problem is and then you can't. Blitz him. Oh, you blitz with the ball. Like you blitz with the blitz. once you've had. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Really, game? That's so disappointing. Really, game? That's so disappointing. Yeah. The funny thing is about tier lists is it's actually better to purposefully make them bad, isn't it? Oh, because he's gonna, Oh, look at this. He, he, oh no, hang on. No, no. What's he doing? He's, oh, he's, just, yeah, he's just gonna. He's just gonna cage a bit further down. Yeah, yeah, but he's. He can still chain out that bottom bodyguard as well. Yep. He might just we need the bodyguard. Power though. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, just power that guy in there. So the player free. Oh. Watch. Oh. Dice it. Honestly, man, everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. It's just. It's true. It honestly, the worst that Chunter has had the worst look of anybody in this tournament. Because before it started, he apparently misclicked and made an Imperial Nobility team. Ha ha ha. It's the fucking UI, man, I'm telling you. Disaster. 
I, I'm gonna enter whatever this next NAFTA style tournament is. I'm gonna enter it. I'm gonna win it with knobs just to prove you freaking wrong, mate. I need I need duo bowl rules, and I need my knob builds. And I'm gonna play you in round one. I'm gonna beat you, and you'll be miserable for the rest of the tournament. Oh, I'm sure Chunter's is gonna beat me in this, like a hundred percent. There is absolutely no chance that Chunter does. Like he loses first four, and then he'll beat me. Like that. I thought that was guaranteed from the <laughs> from the start. Yeah, hundred percent. But uh... I mean, Nob's hard counter net, bro. <laughs> yeah, they they do a little bit, right? They've got they've got the, they've got the stand firm and the fend. Yeah, hard yeah. counter. <laughs> you run <wrong knobs. laughs> <laughs> Alright, fend. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fended him. Yeah. Stunned. See, o OP Jim. <laughs> <It's> OP. <laughs> Unplayable. <laughs> Ends up in exactly the square he'd have been in if he didn't have fend. <laughs> oh man, that ogre. That ogre killed it. Like, if, if yeah. Only... yeah, it was a really nice turn. Yeah, and then it would have been really fascinating for the last three turns to see how it's going to pan out. Yeah. I feel a bit bad for uh, Crystal. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? I, I guess what what he, what he can do is no. Oh, okay, he's got loads of players on. He just runs past right and tries to get a screen out. Wow, reroll comes in there. That's really helping Chunter if he can if he can get if he can get this score in. No oh, one less reroll. The problem is, I don't see how he gets the score. He in. doesn't. He doesn't get a second score in, so he's just got to he's just got to go. But well, he's, he's got this guy free, right? He's got this. He can he can ogre block him, and then this guy can okay. one dice blitz and then run and screen, and then this guy can dodge off and screen. So he can kind of if he powers. With this, oh my! Oh god. my god! Okay. He oh, he's powered. made it, right? He might, he might just hand off and do the three plus three. Oh no, no, he's not. No, yeah, no. He, can fo he can. Oh, so I would have blitzed with this guy. I would have blitzed with the wrestler there. I would have blitzed with the wrestler. Oh, so that's he could have put, awful. He could have pushed him to there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Like G double GFI, and then this guy could have like dodged all the way around. Like it's, he's got to dodge. Oh, because he's got a four three now, hasn't he? Yeah. Mate, it's just been like everything he's tried to do. Yep. Yep. Oh, hello, PC. You right? What do you mean I don't love you? <laughs> My um, broke in your Discord today. Uh, um, hello, Diamond. He yeah, he did. He'd fouled the ogre, um, because he's got he's got twelve players, right? So he fouled him on turn seven. Yeah, he did. Uh, got sent off for a stun. Yep. Classic. Classic. And now we've got a surf. Instant full surfingtons. <clears throat> I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know you were going PC. I honestly like. <laughs> didn't we, I, invite, I invited you to Kent, man. We're playing in Kent to get. Well, hopefully we're playing in Kent together next year. Didn't even invite me. Yeah, I think like you obviously want the runner to recover, but it's you know it's easy. Oh, he's not surfing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess actually, right? If the you surf, surf is the only way he loses the yeah. game. Yeah, if yeah. it flies up the end and yeah. Uh, oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Is he gonna GFI again so he gets this punch? This is alright. I mean, the thing is, right? The one D pal. Into the sideline, into flying up the other end. Yeah, I think yeah. he has to GFI. Yeah, I, I think, think he, he has to, to GFI, yeah. yeah. Oh, it breaks this guy's AV. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this guy can block him and then the troll slate and come around the back. This is, this is now like really fast dwarves, isn't it? This is the fastest dwarves you'll ever see. Yeah, it is, yeah. That's a great square, isn't it, for that slayer? That is amazing. This guy can come yeah. down here somewhere. He might just skip turns or whatever. Yeah. Concede again. <laughs> oh dear. That's fair enough. This one really would have been 2-0. Um, that was over, yeah. It was over, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Bad stand firm. Mm, oh, yeah, 
yeah, maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, but he was already, it was in his head, he was going to concede, I guess, right at that point. Because it was, it was already over, basically. Yeah, it was a comedy mega. Yeah, pretty brutal. Like the, the It could have been so different as well, couldn't it, with a blitz? The initial blitz was like really, really, really scary for Hiru. But then he got the dice to get himself out of it, including the scout. All the removals, wasn't it? All the removals. I mean, to be fair, was it? Chandler sacked him twice, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess, I mean, like, he was still touch and go even after the removals. Right? So it wasn't just the removals, yeah. but it was also like just enough stability to. Um, to get through and get the job done, but yeah, obviously the removals help the stability. So yeah, the removals are a big, big factor. Uh, but Hiru picks up his first win. Chunter picks up his third loss. That means he will almost certainly be. An, uh, he might actually be completely out now. Actually, we can have a look. Uh, I haven't got the full table here because it's you know I've got to manually update the tables. Um, I've actually saved the. No, that's the wrong thing. There we go. There's the table. So yeah, I'm on four, and Andy's on four. So already it's almost impossible for Chunter to qualify with two wins. So, um, yeah, I think I think it is right. Yeah, it must be because um, this is what you would both have to lose. To. Yeah, yeah, we're playing each other. Yeah, so we're playing each other. So there's definitely a point there, and then like sea bros and so on stuff. It's it's on, honestly it's probably almost impossible. It's probably is impossible for Chunter to score now, starting with three losses. Is, is, I think that rules you out. So, uh, but you know, he can still play for pride, right, and maybe win some of the games. But I mean, he has got knobs, so he's very unlikely to win his fourth game. But he is guaranteed to beat me in week five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I lost a game. I, I, I'll be honest. I didn't play the best, but also C Rose like beat the shit out of me, and he had he had dark elves, and it's pretty hard. Uh, it's pretty hard if dark elves like you know beat beat you up like. You know, it's, it's just hard. But I mean, I could have played a lot better. I, I didn't play well that game at all. Maybe I could have squeezed out a draw. Maybe. Or at least a 1-0 loss instead of a 2-0 loss. But uh, yeah, it just is what it is, right? It is what it is. You can't win them all. But maybe, maybe I could have got a draw if I played better. Anyway, um, I don't think Chunter could have done much differently in that. And speaking of that, I think... I think you know he just you know he just didn't get the dice that he couldn't really do anything. I, I think it was right to, to push so hard getting the blitz, and uh, yeah, just didn't get the oh, yeah. and then didn't get anything after that either. So commiserations like even... to Chunter. Yeah, sorry, go on, mate. It's all right. Yeah, commiserations to Chunter. Congratulations, Siru. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Would you like some closing comments? Yeah, knobs OP. Just diced. That's all it was. It was just a dicing. Just a dicing. And yeah. uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.